The umbilical cord that extends from USA's Wall Street to Beijing is a major threat to America. While US President Donald Trump goes all out in his showdown with the People's Republic of China and its President Xi Jinping by taking the paper dragon head on wherever he can, there is one front, albeit in his own backyard, that is threatening to undo all the work laid by him to corner China. The Wall Street, ever since the Green Recession of 2008, has found China as a safe haven for its investments. While it was understandable in the aftermath of a once-in-a-lifetime catastrophe event like 2008 that Wall Street wanted to make sure it didn't lose any money in the future, but of late, China has become the only prominent spot for the investors and it can surely backfire any instant now. According to a China Uncensored report, Wall Street giants such as Goldman Sachs Group and JP Morgan have tens of billions of dollars at stake in China as political tensions risk derailing the nation's opening of its $45 trillion financial markets. Five big US banks had a combined $70.8 billion worth of exposure to China in 2019, with JP Morgan alone plowing $19.2 billion into lending, trading and investing. That's a 10% increase from 2018. If these numbers alone do not paint the real picture of Wall Street's bet on China, then consider these developments. Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley recently took majority control of their Chinese securities ventures. HSBC acquired full control of its Chinese life insurance venture. Citibank received a coveted custody license to serve institutional investors in China. Among asset managers, BlackRock received approval to sell its own mutual funds in China and Vanguard decided to shift its Asian headquarters to Shanghai. According to Goldman estimates, profits in China's brokerage industry could hit $47 billion by 2026. There are $8 billion in estimated commercial banking profits as well as a projected $30 trillion in overall assets to go after, also being pursued by fund giants mentioned above like BlackRock and Vanguard. Such is the thirst of Wall Street to make inroads into China that companies like Goldman Sachs are hiring sons, daughters, nephews and nieces of the Communist Party officials in its plush US offices without any experience and qualification to show its goodwill. In 2016, JP Morgan Chase was fined by American regulators for giving jobs to well-connected Chinese princelings. A Netflix documentary by the name China Hustle also depicts the blue-collar workers of Wall Street taking dubious methods to punt their fortunes on China. After years of trade war turmoil, US policymakers are now starting to aim at the financial industry amid growing skepticism over American firms plowing money into a country perceived as a big geopolitical foe. Policymakers and lawmakers are looking at restricting U.S. pension fund investments in Chinese companies and limiting the ability of Chinese companies to raise capital in the U.S. With such big bucks on the table, it is natural that these companies will lobby hard to stop Trump from undertaking these moves. While Wall Street goes all out to serenade China, the Trump administration so far has been unperturbed in culling the Chinese threat in the U.S. stock exchange. As reported by TFI, the U.S. Senate had passed a bill which, if signed into law, can lead to as many as 800 Chinese companies getting delisted. The reason why Trump went ahead with this move was that Beijing does not allow the American authorities to examine the audit books of the listed Chinese companies. The conspicuous paper dragon claims that the audit books are national secrets and cannot be shared with other parties. The moment the bill becomes a law, the United States will be able to block capital market access to Chinese companies, averting the Chinese hustle, whereby Chinese companies have been cheating the American investors all this while through securities fraud. From a purely fiscal point of view, what Wall Street did by gambling truckloads in China is not unethical, but the heightened tensions between the two nations and Trump's solemn vow to take down China can ultimately lead to friction between the two factions. Wall Street managed to dodge the carnage of the US-China trade war, but it could be among the biggest losers from the ongoing developments. From the little we have seen of Trump in the last four years, 
it wouldn't be a hyperbole to predict that he might cut the umbilical cord connecting China and the Wall Street for good, even if it means falling out of favor with them.